The King's Amazon Beach was an album that I bought solely because of the cover. Okay, I admit it. The images of scantily clad women, albeit in cartoon form, was enough to get me to fork over seven or eight bucks to the clerk at Pegasus Records in Bountiful, Utah. To be fair, I had heard of the Kings. I was aware of their work. A couple of years earlier, they had a big hit with the two-in-one song, This Beat Goes On and Switch Into Glide. But I wasn't as big of a fan of those songs as I am now. Heck, I was 16 years old. And as I've already confessed, it was that darn cover that reeled me in. So anyway, I get home, and I unwrap the album, and I must admit, it was a total pleasant surprise. It's an album that even today, I still listen to frequently. For the uninitiated, the Kings are from Canada. I use present tense because they're still around, doing what all good rockers do, playing until their very last day. This album, their second, it's super short, four songs per side, a little more than a half hour's worth of tunes. It doesn't really matter though because I was hooked from the opening song. All the Way is a killer track. Fast paced and accusatory, a jilted boy from comes home from touring with his band only to discover his faith and trust had been compromised. The next two tracks, Amazon Beach and The Fools Are In Love, well they sealed the deal. I will forever be a fan of the Kings. As I mentioned, the Kings are still around. They've re-recorded some of the songs on Amazon Beach because they felt like the album was overproduced. Apparently, there was some in-studio conflict with producer Bob Ezrin while making the album, and the veteran producer who had experienced a ton of success with bands like Kiss and Pink Floyd, well, he prevailed at the end of the day. I've heard the re-recorded versions, and I've got to say, maybe Bob was right. I prefer the songs on the original album, Amazon Beach. But you know, the beautiful thing about music is that it's so darn subjective. Music connects each one of us with specific memories and feelings that lend power to songs and more broadly to various genres of music. Yep, music can be a pretty darn nostalgic thing. At least for an old timer like me. Sometimes I even drive by the building where Pegasus Music used to be. The demise of the record store is a true American tragedy. Oh well, at least Pace's Darianne is around. For those of you who live in Battlefield, you know why this is such a good thing. Mm -hmm. Right now I could sure use a peach rainbow and some onion rings. Alright, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section and while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and I would be absolutely positively thrilled if you considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about music from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.